All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the slideshow karaoke. Um, so I don't know if you all know about this, but we'll be presenting some random slides for no particular reason, which means fun. And I'd like to thank for uh, thank to Amita for submitting the thing, dealing with the submission, and to Patrick about for helping me with the slides. Um, anything bad in the slides? That's his fault, of course. Um, so we have very simple rules. We'll have uh, 10 slide decks that will be presented by people from the audience. Five slides each, and you won't see them before. And they'll be self-advancing. There's 15 seconds for each slide. And I think we have our first volunteer right here. So I guess I'll just give Stephen the mic, and let's start. Oh, boy. So I want to tell you about our new product. We are selling pork heads. They are top quality, ripped straight from the animal. Never, uh, n uh, never, okay. This is, our, this is our new packaging facility. You can see each one of these is a, is a cage containing, uh, containing one of the pigs. Um, actually, no, sorry. Those ones on the side are containing the pigs. Those ones contain all of the people that have to deal with the pigs. Uh, <laughs> I've got nothing on that. <laughs> that uh, who's been messing with my slides? <laughs> ah, and here, and here we have the boardroom. Uh, you'll notice that we have no board members, and that is because they were all eaten by the pigs. Um, it, interesting enough, though, they didn't leave much of a mess. Our first customer. <laughs> All right, we're looking for a second volunteer. There we go. I should be, yeah, thank you. Totally random. Yeah, prepared, yeah. So after Stephen talked about the, the pigs, things, and the head, we decided to go with horses because it seems that people prefer horse versus pig. So um, we decided, we, we came with a model, then we asked for a designer to come with horse, pig, uh, horse. and then we tried with Fedora <laughs> because we needed to automate the whole thing. Like we wanted to, to build a complete pipeline, and of course it had to be running container because Adam was involved, as you can see. So clearly, there was something going on. And because Adam was involved, of course, what happened? Fire, fire. It was panic all the place. Container were on fire, everything. And so we had to, f to call the fire brigade, us, the CPE team, just to come to the rescue. <laughs> but we were just too busy enjoying uh, drinking and, and, of course, having banana splits um, with ice cream. Uh, because that's uh, the second thing we do. First, before we want to extinguish fire, we need to be sure that we are just ready in a good mood. So that's what we do. And this is our fire brigade truck that we use um, coming on site because we do, we do also on site support, of course, when things go completely wrong. And especially um, next time, we just want to have Adam sitting there and sleeping there. So thank you. All right, who wants to be next? It's just recorded, no pressure. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're back. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll need it. <laughs> Go for it. All right, so in a world in the future where the Linux and, you know, Linux, Windows, Mac OS have all merged. The human have evolved to a state where we look like a little bit like these monkeys. Uh, so it's a, bit, a little bit of a mixture of, the, you know, planets of the apes and humans. And we've started writing codes to get us to that state of mind. So we no longer needed keyboards. We can just think about it. You've seen how we look, so we look much smarter than we are today. And we're able to, do, to come with this, uh, with this kind of codes, which look all nice and foggy, but you know, at the end of the day, it all ends up blowing up in your face. And then you get protests all over the place. And you know, it's France, so you get protests anyway. 
Um, so before we turn into the, the, the previous monster, we did end up with code blowing up our place. So we need to wash it, and that's the place where you end up uh, bringing your, uh, your code, and you get to get the, having clean up, and you get to you know, bring the, the, the nice elephant back to the, to the previous picture, and, uh, and everything's blowing up. So once we have, we're done with this, we do bring uh, ourselves to karaoke place, because this is the evening events, and we get some neon place. We get Adam uh, singing on the back uh, in his nice uh, siren costume. And, uh, <laughs> and that's six for me. Thank you. I see you, Roland. Anyone else? Try. Excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's working? Yeah. And now. Okay. Okay, so we have this room and it's colored. It looks like we will play some basketball. But uh, we don't know what the, where is the ball. It's not seen anywhere. So we ended up using bananas instead of ball. Uh, we tried to make them look like a dolphins because why not? It's easy to make them look like a dolphins, and it's fun. So, and then we forced them to uh, ride to the subway. So they are. Uh, uh, they are uh, trying to make it more <laughs> <laughs> okay so and then we uh, thought about the types and the relations what are the relations between the bananas and the subway and uh, we, we end up with frog and and some cupcake so I think we give it a great job and <laughs> I think we figured out something that is not really uh, clear to anyone. <laughs> All right, we need more volunteers. Uh, on behalf of the uh, IBM committee, I'm uh, here to inform you about all the changes we're going to be making to Red Hat as a result of the acquisition. <laughs> I swear I didn't plan this. I apologize. So there's going to be some minor changes in the way that we do business going forward. <laughs> there is going to be a new dress code that we're going to be imposing. Um, I hope you're all going to be very open-minded about things. Uh, but, but ultimately, I think that at the end of the day, when you see the package that we've put together here, you're not going to be worried in the slightest. <laughs> It's going to be fine, everybody. <laughs> just hang in there, okay? Just, just hang in there, all right? <laughs> Thank you all so much, and welcome to IBM. <laughs> Any more news from everyone about other events? I think Mohan has. <laughs> he got the best slide deck for that, maybe. The only reason I'm doing this, uh, Ramon said that if I do this, he will pick up the repo spanner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is that a. Uh, this is on uh, Frisbee new kind of frisbee that we'll play with when uh, we got drunk and see how that helps. And uh, I think it's missing a Red Hat branding. <laughs> and uh, huh, this is where from we jump off while playing that frisbee. <laughs>
and uh, interesting. I hope there is some snow below there. And this is where will be our new motto. Everyone will say like, I'm fearless because we are working for, uh, we are working on uh, open source and uh, we'll be very fearless on working on stuff for the world. Okay, I don't know. I guess we are all developing these things for, for the world uh, to make it a better place. And, okay, I have no idea what to say about this. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I made that slide deck. Um, I guess we need three more volunteers or four, if I can count correctly. Maybe. Um, oh, thank you, Matthew, for coming as a, as a volunteer. Um, <laughs> no, you haven't. Cool. So that's kind of the look that we all have at five in the morning after reviewing a lot of bugs, probably. Uh, especially the hair color. It seems that it looks like me without my blow. Oh, right. Um, so that's what happens if you uh, try to communicate with anyone in the community. They just start peeling you layer by layer by layer telling you that you need more and probably you can make a rocket with all the pain and suffering from solving box and fedora maybe you just need to run away to another country or another planet it's not enough see you just need to run away from all of it um well technically just that's how code looks to me it's I don't even understand it. Ah, and that's us designers trying to make everything yummy and tasty and beautiful just to have another layer of pain on top of it. Um, yeah, I hope there is nothing more in there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, so these are going to be my ideas for next flock. <laughs> so we're going to start by going to an aquarium because, you know, we just need to let loose sometimes before, uh, before we go to all these meetings and presentations. And uh, so we're going to go to, uh, to a planetarium and, and watch uh, some jellyfish. And then <laughs> uh, we're going to have our first official meeting in, in, uh, in this railway system, or whatever I'm looking at here. <laughs> uh, and we're all going to stand around, and, uh, uh, and then in between sessions, we're going to eat. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to eat it, because it looks good, right? Uh, so our, our snack time sessions are going to be uh, replaced with, with that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we really want you to get your hands dirty with Fedora and, and have fun hacking on it and uh, enjoy all the sessions. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, after the conference, we can uh, let loose the pool and, and have fun. <laughs> Thank you.
Do we have more volunteers? <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, th this is how to stay Fedora project leader for five years without burnout. Um, <laughs> the, the first thing is that you know the burnout is always lurking there behind in front of all of the fruit and plants. It's like gl glow glowing there in the back of your mind. Um, and yeah, but um, as long as you get your hands you know, in, into everything and uh, keep, keep making sure you're staying in touch with things and you're getting all the color all over your hands and it, you keep involved with everything is an important way. Um, but sometimes the stress of it just kind of makes you want to just start a dream of kind of floating off and not worrying about the weight of all of the problems. Um, maybe just soaring off to the moon um, in a physically impossible balloon. Um, but you know, the overall, there's kind of a glow from the project and from all the wonderful people in, in this community who help support and make everything work together. So that um, is always important. And um, wow. Uh, <laughs> so you also have to make sure you know, to um, keep things light and do some exercise as well um, while you're you know, doing all of the farm work that people who want to work in Fedora always can go off to do. And the last but not least will be, thank you. <laughs> So, why should we collaborate and not just on open source projects? You know, this might be a roller coaster, but why isn't it? Because somebody forgot to put uh, rails on it. And you know why did it happen? Because this was a proprietary project, and uh, we all have just one brain. We cannot think of everything. So. You can't fit everything in this world just into this small head. You know, I have it, you have it, everyone has it. And uh, we all should use it, but ideally together, uh, because our brain is just a tool like the spoon, and you can fit about this much on a spoon of the food. You can't eat it all at once with such a small spoon. Of course, you don't really need the spoon, and you, 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 you can think bigger. You can, for example, put ice cream on the spoon and now you have more food on the spoon that normally would fit in there. But somebody has to uh, think about it. So next time you eat, think about how to make your day better, somebody else's day better, and share. <laughs>